Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about passion. What are you passionate about? And yes, I'm doing this because it's the day before Valentine's Day, but it's not for the typical conventional reasons. I want to talk to you about what makes you feel good, what makes you happy, what gets you excited. And it's not necessarily another person. You don't have to have a significant other to feel passion. It could be a person, but it could be a place, it could be an activity, it could be your pet, it could be a hobby. And most of you know that I'm married and I have an amazing husband. I'm very passionate about him. I adore him. And I love my pets and I love Disneyland and I'm very passionate about all those things. But one thing I wanted to share with you specifically today was something that I've started doing recently that awakened a passion in me that I didn't even know that I had. And it's really made a difference in my day-to-day -day life. And it's something that I just want to encourage you to think about if there's something that might spark some kind of passion in you. And so what it is, is my husband asked me around Christmas time if I would make him a wreath out of ornaments. Now this is something he bought me years ago, and I never thought about it, but I thought, uh, you know what, yeah, I think I'll do that. And oh my God, I've gotten so into it and I absolutely love it and I'm making all kinds of beautiful things and I'm going to share the one today that I made out of all the heart-shaped ornaments that he gave me. How pretty is that? So this is one of my ornaments. It's my Valentine's Day ornament. My husband gave me all these heart-shaped ornaments years ago and now I have them in a really pretty place to display them. I keep this in my bedroom and I'm just bringing it in here to show you during our video. So there it is. So that is what I, I'm going to be so careful because they're so delicate. So that's what I've been working on. That is my new passion. And as I said, I've got all those other things that I'm, I'm always passionate about on a daily basis. I have been for years, but this is something that's just, uh, it's, it's something that I get to express. So do you get to express your passion in a way that's really fulfilling? And it can be anything. You know, the thing that comes to my mind too, is that men love golf. Men, a lot of men and women are just passionate about going out there and getting into that space and doing this activity that they love that makes them feel good and they just they can't wait to be there and they enjoy every minute of it and that's really what it's about passion is about feeling that that fire that gets under you and gets you all revved up and just makes you feel like yes I am loving this so what is that for you and you know it's often best if it's not another person because you never know <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw anything negative out there, but still, you know, it's better if it's something that's just about you, something that you have for yourself that you always have for yourself, or maybe it can change, but it's just all about you. So what do you have that you're passionate about? What do you love? Where do you love to go? What do you love to do? Do you have some kind of creative expression? Because, oh my God, I haven't for years, and wow, it's made a difference. I feel like a part of me has been laying stagnant for years, and and now it's, it's like this flower that was drooping for a long time, and now it finally got some water and some sunshine, and it's, it's perking up and blossoming again. So I just want you to think about that. And especially with Valentine's Day coming up, it doesn't have to be about another person. I didn't have anybody for Valentine's Day for years, but what I was passionate about was the people in my life that I loved. So sometimes I spent it with a group of girlfriends. I actually had guy friends that I wasn't romantically involved with, but we weren't attached to anyone, so we would go out to dinner, and that was fun, and that was great, and it made the day wonderful. So it doesn't have to be anything specific. It's just whatever makes you feel good. And the other reason to find something that makes you feel passionate is because when you're feeling that intense emotion, it raises your vibration, which as we've talked about so much, just makes everything in your life better. And it opens you up, puts you into a state of allowing so that you can attract and be open and receptive to all the things that you've been saying that you wanted, even if it's not related to the thing that you're feeling passionate about. The point is that you're feeling good and you're feeling that warm, fuzzy feeling and all of your cells are just singing with excitement and joy. And that's really what it comes down to, joy. Enjoy your life. If you're passionate about something, you're enjoying it. Joy is the main purpose of life. So there we go.
right back to the core of it right there. So I just want you to think about it, especially with this weekend coming up. If you're bummed because you don't have anyone, you know what, it doesn't matter. Find something that brings you love, awakens your passion, and immerse yourself in it, whatever it is. Or if it's a place, go there. If it's an activity, go do it. It's a day of love, and it's about you feeling love in whatever form that means for you. So just feel love this Valentine's Day. And I hope that you feel joy when you watch these videos. I feel joy when I make them for you. So again, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. And if you do enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, forward to your family and friends if you feel so inspired. And if you'd like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every week, jump over to my website, tanamarshall.com and get on the mailing list and get your free gift, which is actually about attracting the love of your life and anything else you want. So if that's what you want, good time for it. So with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend filled with love and passion and joy in whatever form that means for you. Just enjoy it. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.